everybody. Tell from Boston. Let's kick it off. Listen, let's have a frank conversation about Deutsche, what's going on with Deutsche Bank right now. So the recent market panic surrounding Deutsche, right? It came on the heels of this emergency credit rescue, right? By Credit, uh, credit Suisse, by uh, the folks over at UBS. Following this, this collapse of the US-based Silicon Valley Bank, right? This has triggered contagion concerns among investors. We're not talking about just retail, we're talking about everybody. It's further deepened by the fact that the Federal Reserve's monetary policy is tightening, okay? What does that mean? Deutsche Bank, I'm just gonna to explain to you very simply. Uh, Deutsche Bank, uh, which underwent a multi-billion uh, euro restructure the last couple of years, posted net uh, income of about 5 billion euros in 2022. It's got strong capital reserves and, and solvency positions, However, and this is the big but right here, the market remains unconvinced that the Credit Suisse rescue deal will be sufficient to contain the, contain the stress um, in, the, in the entire sector. That is opportunity, all right? Despite uh, Deutsche's like robust financial position, its shares have slumped, and you know, because the fears of the financial system uh, crisis, uh, the, you know, the, it's going to escalate, right? So the cost of insuring its bonds against defaults has increased quite sharply. And I do mean quite sharply, pretty high, right? The problem at Deutsche Bank, right? And, and, and I'll say Credit Suisse and the three failed U.S. banks broadly reflect the weakening uh, of our system, the, the weakness exposed by rapid interest rate hikes by the uh, global central banks and concerns of, you know, worldwide economic slowdown, right? The the, the banking sector's uh, fear has kind of spilled over into the fucking bond market, with yields on the U.S. Treasury falling as demand surge due to the, the 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 flight for safety. The sudden drop in yield prices, the the bond yields that is, suggests that the market believes the federal rate will cut, uh, well, the Federal Reserve will cut rates to spur the economy in the event of a recession. Right. The the broader picture here reveals that, uh, the, you know, and this is just me. This is just my opinion. Markets and companies grappling with this systematic uh, systemic change in money pricing by these central banks uh, are going to have a hard time adapting. That means the global economy has relied on cheap money for over a decade, uh, encouraging risk and speculation. Right. We've seen that. We know. But the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, coupled with all this mac uh, massive economic stimulus, left banks and financial companies flush with cash, right? Which they use to purchase long-term government bonds that have lost significant market value due to high interest rates, right? So as rumors of problems that banks like Silicon Valley emerged, depositors start with trying their money, prompting a run on the banks, which is what we saw. Volatility is expected to continue until markets make uh, I would say receive clarity from the Fed and other central banks on interest rates and the overall health of the global banking system. Deutsche is just one one little bit. It's the first one, right? Deutsche's bank recently, uh, I would say Deutsche Bank's recent activity in general kind of signals that the moment of clarity has not yet arrived. Yeah, you think? My, my conclusions are this, right? The market panic and slump in Deutsche's uh, bank shares indicate that the banking crisis is far from over, way far from over. The the, the forced fire sale, because that's exactly what it was, of uh, Credit Suisse and the failures of those three banks have kind of heightened concerns about the uh, global system, the global financial system. The, the, the ongoing uh, uncertainty in the sector, the banking sector, coupled with economic global shutdown fears, oh, I should say, I shouldn't say sh shutdown, slowdown fears, kind of sent shockwaves through the bond market. So there's clear evidence that, it, that that something big is about to go down. It will go down. Uh, until there's clear guidance from the central banks of the future path of interest rates and the overall stability of the global banking system, uh, volatility and, and, and concerns are likely to persist. And that means opportunity. They're already shorting Deutsche right now. The banks, I mean, those guys are shorting the banks. Anybody that is associated with this, they're shorting it. So, yeah, I'm talking about uh, credit default swap. I'm, there's, I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can, uh, you don't have Bloomberg, but these swaps, these exotics, they're going through the roof right now. 
people want to short these companies down to garbage because they know what's about to happen. Might as well make money on it, right? That is the opportunity there, all right? That's what I have for you guys. I hope you found value in it. Stay tuned for my next video.